Oh yeah, this is what I want to show everybody is the interaction between my two antennas. Uh, this is my new inverted L that we saw in a previous video. So we're going to sweep this thing SWR wise. Oh, god dang, 20 miles. Cats put those things everywhere. So let's go do a sweep on the SWR. And then um, this is for 160 meters. That's where the uh, antenna is resonant. We're supposed to be resonant. So it has this really weird double curve. The dark blue portion, or the light blue portion, is the actual band, 160. Uh, so you can see it's resonant at the lowest SWR is 1.22 at 1.9. However, I like to talk on the street and, and some of those other nets a little bit higher than 1847-ish, 1890-3. So the SWR is not all that good there. But the interesting thing is, there's Casper, yeah, is uh, when I turn on that other loop antenna, which is uh, my long wire with the SG235 tuner. It's an active electronic tuner. And the way that works is I have a, a mess here with clip leads and whatnot that when I t power it on, this is just going to send power 12 volts out to that black box out there, which is uh, this thing out here. I'll zoom in with the handy cam right there. That's that big giant, what I call bow tie on end loop. 12 volts goes out of there, it comes in on this Cat5 plenum cable. And a couple of the wires, it goes all the way in here, back to this mess. And it's got 12 volts, so it would have turned on the last tuning solution I had, which I believe was 160. So now that that's active and it's near field, it's within a quarter wavelength of my inverted L, a lot closer than that actually. Look what it does to the SWR. So now we're just going to simply rescan it. And let's see what happens. Okay. Starts out a little higher, but it's going to drop down a lot lower. And it moves the resonant frequency up more to where I like it. So 1.41 at 1849. That's pretty good. No, actually, 18, 1.48 or whatever the number is, I can't see it right there. Uh, so isn't that weird? So when I trimmed this antenna, there's a whole lot of back and forth cutting the length up front. Two inches on, four inches off, screwing up, have to solder the wire back on, wrapping it around. That's an all-day job. Apparently, I did it when I had this electronic tuner powered up because I was pretty happy with those figures not realizing that there was an interaction thing going on. So uh, I'm not sure what to do about it. So I'm going to disconnect that. So now that antenna is just a parasitic wire with no, it's not active, not tuned. It's just a big loop, probably open. Uh, it, it, do, it does affect this antenna. So they are definitely interacting. To what degree, we're going to see right here. So uh, not sure what to make of the whole thing yet. It is what it is. It's a little bit lower SWR with it off, actually. Uh, and it moved it, so that's a good thing. Uh, if and when I take that antenna down, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, what my thinking is, and this is probably going to throw a wrench in the monkey works, is I want to get rid of that electronic tuner, or not necessarily get rid of it, but take it out of uh, my main antenna because I do want to get a legal amplifier. This thing is only good for 500 watts. These SG tuners, I really like them. I like the Logic. Half a million tuning solutions. This one's a little bigger because it does handle 500 watts, but it would be good for a camping, portable operation. Keep that back of the truck. I don't want to really get rid of it. But I want an arrangement where I can run full legal limit on both 160 and 80. I don't think I'll be able to do that with a combined antenna. Maybe I can, maybe I won't. But this 160 is a really good proof of concept here because I just barely had enough room to make it over to the top of that tree with a couple of feet to spare for 124 feet, I think it is. So my goal is to make this the 80 meter uh, inverted L. So there's about 43, 42 to 44 feet there. If I can get up in there, right there. So 80 meters would put that 30 three feet times two is 60. And if there's 40 there, that's only gonna be 20 feet over. 
So 20 feet extended on the horizontal section will be over top of my 40 meter, I mean before where my 40 meter dipole starts. So this antenna, that's where the 40 meter dipole starts, or fan dipole, up on there. Uh, hang on, I know I'm not a good video photographer. I'm trying to look through this viewfinder, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at here. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. Uh, so that this will make a better 80 meter uh, inverted L. And then I think I have a little extra distance with this back tree. And I'll do the same thing. I'll basically move this 160 meter over to there. I'll put a stay line in front of that big tree, which would put that, well, the canopy is pretty big, so it might drop down in front of the brick wall. Idealistically, I'd have it in front and right up in here someplace. I could build a little house for the uh, feed point. But the problem is, is that's going to put it right up through the uh, bulk of that canopy, unless I could zigzag it out, maybe pull it in a triangle. Uh, but that sounds like a good summer or spring project, so that's on the horizon. So when I'm doing that, I still want to be on the air for 160. <clears throat> Got some friends on 160, uh, so I don't want to lose 160. Uh, but I also don't want to lose 80, so I don't know how I'll do this. Maybe when I'm restringing that, I'll move that box over to the inverted L. That would be interesting to see how that tuner works on the inverted L as opposed to a big piece of random wire. My suspicion is it may not work. Maybe I'll get a tune on 80. I don't know. Uh, definitely this seems to work okay for 160. Not the best SWR, but I am going to build a tuner. Uh, but this is going to be, looks like a viable antenna. I just want to make sure I have reliable low bands, 80, 160, before I go dismantling all of this. So that's what's on the future. Uh, we talked about the Conduit LMR uh, 400 restringing. Uh, See what else we got to talk about. Cleaning up the mess. I'm going to donate this uh, remaining 9913 to my friend John K6IR. There's the weatherhead uh, pull cord. So that's what we got. See ya.